Uh, for Johns Hopkins, we have head coach Tim Cole and seniors Elizabeth Worsell and Christy Reed. Um, coach, first of all, congratulations on the win. Um, just an opening statement and thoughts on the victory in the match today. Really nice environment, as we were expecting. Stevenson brought out a great crowd, a uh, lot of energy after an exciting upset win preceding our match as well. Uh, congrats to SWAT and Carnegie Mellon for a nice match. So uh, there was a lot of energy in the room, and unlike yesterday, we started off uh, a little bit more present to the moment, a little bit more aggressive, and uh, we're able to do what we came here to do in terms of execution, attitude, and um, though Sasha's injury uh, certainly was a, a huge bump in the road, and uh, you know we'll, we'll see what her status is moving forward. Uh, great opportunity for us all to work on our resiliency. You know we're such a tight knit family. That was a big moment for for us uh, in our hearts, and then a big moment on the court too, bouncing back. So I'm very pleased and very proud of the way we all came together uh, and, and continued to fight. So uh, a nice job by all the Blue Jays. Um, was it important for you guys to kind of get out to a, to get out to a strong start and win the first set to kind of take a little bit of pressure and put it on to Stevenson since they had the big crowd behind them and everything? Oh, not really. We're just really point to point. Uh, we're not so concerned about who won the prior set or the next set or the match. We're, we're just really about our execution and uh, enjoying getting to be together. You know, that's what we're most thankful for. Um, so, so thankful to have this press conference with these two. It, it's terrific. Um, so we're not so concerned with uh, the momentum or things like that. We're, I don't want to say we're impervious to it uh, because we certainly felt something when Sasha went down. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're really point to point. Yeah. Uh, this question is both, both for Elizabeth and Christy. Uh, whoever wants to answer first. Um, what's it like to play in an environment like that? Um, you know, with you know, good crowds for both teams and just a very very high atmosphere, and as Coach said, you know, a big upset win the night, you know, the match right before yours as well. Well, something we say in the practice gym is that <coughs> environment is everything, um, and so we always want to be in control of our environment. Even like in Gold Farb in our practice gym, we put a ton of effort into making it just how we want it. Um, so walking into an environment like this was a great opportunity to really make it ours, make it like playing in our own gym, and I think we did a great job of that today. I'm really proud of the team. I also really valued the opportunity to have all this external stimuli. If it affects us, get a rep at letting it go. I think that was a great opportunity for us today, and I think we improved at that. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Coach, you want to answer this, and then with one of the players. Um, what was the difference between the first match you guys played a month ago where Stevenson won and tonight's match? Was there anything you did differently, or was it just better execution? Or? You know, the first time I took the team on the scenic route, and uh, we got a little bus sick, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, the, the infinite number of things were different. Uh, we, we just, it, that's not how we look at things. Uh, but going back to the, the prior statement about the environment, as you acknowledged, there was a great Johns Hopkins supporting crew here from our administration, many of our other student athletes, non-student athletes. It was terrific, that support, uh, our families, people in from all over the country, just First class support, so proud that uh, we have all those people behind us, so happy to represent us, and uh, that they, they cheered for us in a, a positive way. It's just terrific, uh, and that certainly bolstered us. That's part of the environment we're happy to take in, yeah, yes, and uh, we're, we're excited to uh, celebrate getting another day together uh, where our families and, and friends can see us compete. Yeah. And then finally, obviously, um, you face uh, SWAT again tomorrow, and your team you've played twice. Um, would you rather play somebody different that you're a little more unfamiliar with, or is it, is it nice to play somebody you, you have a little bit of history with, you are having to face some twice this season? Uh, we certainly don't need to watch as much film, so <laughs> there, you know, there's that. Uh, and they stayed for the entirety of the match, but I think both teams would say uh, we're just excited to go out and compete, and it's really not about uh, do we have better or worse odds based on this opponent. We really are. Uh, internally directed and, and focused with what we're doing. So uh, we just hope for a great match on both sides. It's fantastic for the conference. It's fantastic for Swarthmore. This is their you know first trip either in a long time or maybe ever. First ever. First ever, yeah. So congrats to Harley. You know, we, we put our heads together prior to the tournament and um, 
you know, she's got a, a program where everyone plays hard, and we really respect that. We love how hard SWAT plays, and they play great defense. So uh, we're looking forward to the match, and it's great for the conference, again, to, to showcase uh, our quality together. And when you have seen each other a lot, there's going to be a lot of defense. There's going to be some long rallies, and, and that's sort of their style, and um, we're happy to play that way too. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.